Question 5. DS. In a jar X, the ratio of the numbers of red marbles to blue marbles to green marbles to yellow marbles is 5 to 4 to 3 to 2. How many green marbles are in the jar? Condition 1. The number of red marbles is 9 more than the number of yellow marbles. Condition 2. The total number of marbles in the jar is 42. Solution. Let's solve this DS question using the variable approach. Third property of ratios. Ratio becomes formula. Convert the proportion into fractions and equate each fraction to a constant k. If A is to B is to C equals D is to E is to F, or A over D equals B over E equals C over F, then we can say A over D equals B over E equals C over F equals K, or A equals D times K, B equals E times K, and C equals F times K. Let's apply the three steps suggested previously. Follow the first step of the variable approach by modifying and rechecking the original condition and the question. We have to find the number of green marbles. If the ratio of the numbers of red marbles to blue marbles to green marbles to yellow marbles is 5 to 4 to 3 to 2. So, R is to B is to G is to Y equals 5 is to 4 is to 3 is to 2. Convert the proportions into fractions and equate them to k. r over 5 equals b over 4 equals g over 3 equals y over 2 equals k. Further simplification gives us r equals 5 times k, b equals 4 times k, g equals 3 times k, y equals 2 times k. And we are looking for the value of 3 times k. Follow the second and third steps. From the original condition, we have five variables, r, b, g, y, k, and four equations, r equals five times k, b equals four times k, g equals three times k, y equals two times k. To match the number of variables with the number of equations, we need one more equation. Since conditions one and two will provide one equation each, it's about 60% likely that D will be the answer. Recall the three principles and choose D as the most likely answer. Let's take a look at each condition. Condition 1 gives us the number of red marbles to be 9 more than the number of yellow marbles. R equals Y plus 9. We substitute the values of variables R and Y in terms of K. Thus, 5 times K equals 9 plus 2 times K. 5 times k minus 2 times k equals 9. We get 3 times k equals 9, or k equals 3. Therefore, the number of green marbles is 3 times k, which equals 3 times 3, which equals 9. This value is unique, so the condition is sufficient by CMT2, which means that the number of answers must be 1. Condition 2 gives us the total number of marbles in the jar as 42. R plus B plus G plus Y equals 42. We substitute the values of variable R, B, G, and Y in terms of K. Thus, 5 times K plus 4 times K plus 3 times K plus 2 times K equals 42. We get 14 times K equals 42, or K equals 3. Therefore, the number of green marbles is 3 times k, which equals 3 times 3, which equals 9. This value is unique, so the condition is sufficient by CMT2, which means that the number of answers must be 1. Also remember, according to tip 1, it is about 95% likely that D would be the answer when the value of condition 1 is equal to the value of condition 2. Each condition alone is sufficient. Thus, D is the correct answer. Answer, D.